Thursday is a week from Sunday and the pressure is on for some of you to do something really nice and make it a perfect day for mom. And if you're not ready, well, we are going to get you ready this morning. We have self-proclaimed rustic baker chef Laura Kenny with Crystal Creamery to show us these are easy to follow recipes that you can actually do with your children, which I love. There's nothing exactly. I love more than cooking with my kids. Oh, absolutely. The family, the whole family can participate in making these recipes. We have a couple different things here that we've used using Crystal Creamery products. This is a quiche, but unlike your typical quiche, we put some baked pota or some rusted potatoes in there, and it is more of a loaded baked potato quiche. And so we can top it with some fun things like tomatoes and sour cream and green onions, and it kind of appeals more to the heartier appetite. So we have some potatoes, ham, some cheddar cheese, and scallions in here. This looks amazing. Let me ask you, how complicated are quiches to make? Because they, they look so gourmet and fancy. They do, but it's very simple. If you can even cheat, and you can make a buy a pre-made pie crust, and you are ready to oh, go. Oh, really? There. We made okay. this one, but it's just a matter of mixing your eggs in your milk or cream or half and half together with any kind of flavors that you have. So you can just throw kind of whatever items, Absolutely. ingredients you like in there. Okay, Absolutely. what do you have here? This is a galette. We've made galettes here before, but they've always been sweet. This is a savory galette. It has asparagus, leeks, garlic, and goat cheese. And again, we've kind of saved ourselves some time and we've used puff pastry instead of making our own pie crust. So then when you bake it on, it takes about 10 minutes to assemble, about 30 minutes to bake, and you're ready to go. You've got to explain this to me. I've never heard of this. Oh, a galette? Yes, it's a galette. Where so have I been living, it's right? it's an open-faced pie. And actually, we have okay. a piece of dough down here. And what we did is, we, this is just the puff pastry dough that we've cut into a round. And all we're going to do is cook our um, leeks, our garlic, and our asparagus together. Cook that first, mm -hmm. then put it on the dough. Put it that's in the uncooked. middle. Yeah, that's all uncooked in the middle. And you can just get this in the store if you want. Absolutely, in the freezer okay. section. In the freezer section, it's all available for us. And then we have some crumbled goat cheese oh, here. It smells amazing. And all you need to do is fold in your edges. Fold it over, and fold that's it. it. Over. How long do you bake that for? About 30, 35 minutes until it gets golden brown. Okay, this would be for mom. I think your next dish <laughs> is something that most children would really enjoy. Absolutely. So French toast. We love French toast. Yes. It's kind of a hassle. Mm -hmm. You have to spend a lot of time on the griddle, in front of the griddle, making it, preparing it. So what we've done is we've made a casserole here. We have sliced bread. Any kind of bread you want to do is perfect. And here we have our eggs and our cream and it's a little bit of sugar. We just add a little bit of vanilla and then some cinnamon and nutmeg. And that all gets whisked together. That's a lot. It's a good amount. So you want to kind of cover this? Yeah, you want to cover this. And what's going to happen is ideally you would like for this to soak for at least five hours. Oh, really? Because okay. all the bread is going to soak up all the love that we're pouring on it right now. Uh huh. And then we're going to top it with a little bit of um, pecan praline. We can probably stop there. And just pressing it down making sure that everything gets soaked up. Reevaluate after your five hours, you might need to add some more. Put it in the fridge for five hours, mm -hmm. okay. And then in here we have brown sugar, a little bit of cinnamon and some oh, butter. Yeah. <laughs> I think I could just eat that by itself. <laughs> you wanna <laughs> smash your brown, your um, butter and your brown sugar together. You add some nuts and then the sprinkles on top. Oh. Bake it for about 30 minutes and you have a gorgeous Heavenly. French toast casserole that you really don't even need syrup for because I love it has it. enough love on it already. Do you have a website where people could go to get more information? All of the uh, recipes are available on the Crystal Creamery website. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. We appreciate it. And uh, there's the uh, website, crystalcreamery.com.